Now, it's been a very busy few weeks here in Sheffield, and uh, particularly for Ken Doherty, who, of course, is in our commentary box today, because not only is he commentating and uh, being an expert witness to everything that's going on, he's also mentoring a young Sheffield athlete who's going to another world-class event very shortly, the Paralympics in Tokyo. So what can a world snooker champion teach an aspiring table tennis star? Let's find out. A couple of months ago, I got involved with the True Athlete Project, which pairs up mentors and mentees from different sports all across the world. My mentee is a young man called Jack Hunter Spivey. He plays for the British Table Tennis Olympic team. He's hoping to go to Tokyo in August. He's a lovely lad. He's number one in his class, and I'd like you to meet him. You getting ready for me? Yeah, just about. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, not too bad. How are you? Yeah. yeah, good. Good, good. good. Ready good. to get beat again? <laughs> oh, yeah, <go> <laughs> yeah. Being a snooker fan, watching it as a kid growing up and spending time with my girlfriend's granddad's and we bond over the snooker watching it. It was a great opportunity and to see what Ken's achieved and to, to learn off him just invaluable for me. So yeah, I was made up really. Having that hand on my shoulder when I'm going through the biggest journey of my life at the moment has been absolutely incredible to have that for me. Um, have someone who's been there, done that, to relay his experiences, to relay what, what I could potentially go through in different situations, on and off the table for me as well. I think we've got a really good friendship together and uh, yeah, I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. Just so excited to, to be able to, to chat and, and try and you know, pass on, you know, snippets of information, snippets of sort of experiences at the crucible of, of playing some of the best in the world, the pressures and, and the sort of the preparation that I had to go through as well. And all sports have a great affinity and particularly individual sports. And uh, I think that's how we sort of got together and how we can help each other. And, and I think I've learned more from this project than Jack has, but it's, uh, yeah, we've really, we've really got on very, very well together. I started in the youth club when I was 10. It's for like deprived and disabled kids. We used to get a hot meal of a night time and, and meet other kids and just fell in love with the sport and adapted to my disability. I was born with cerebral palsy, so I was really frustrated. I wanted to be next Steven Gerrard, I wanted to be everything like that and didn't understand why I was different. So table tennis was that outlet for me. And it turned me from jack in a wheelchair to jack who plays table tennis and I was forever grateful for it. Sports changed my life ridiculously and I wouldn't change it. I'm 10 times British champion. I've not lost a match for six years domestically in the uh, UK, so yeah, I'm not doing too bad. The first lockdown, it, it was difficult to get my, my training methods in and it could have went either way for me. I could have went down a path where I didn't want to train and didn't know when the world's going to open back up again, but I decided to take the opposite path and try and do as much as I could. So I got a table in my flat, which was the size of my living room. So I was eating my dinner off it. I was going underneath it to watch the telly. I was doing anything I could to, to get some training. And luckily enough, we're in the Institute of Sport here. And we've got incredible facilities and we're able to train again during the lockdown now. So it, it's full steam ahead for me to, to get myself to Tokyo and, and win this competition I've got coming up. And it looks like Jack's teaching Ken a few tricks as well out there. Um, I know Ken's in the commentary box once again, Ken, as, as we see Mark and uh, Stuart come back out once again. But this is a fantastic initiative that you've been it's part great. of and 